Well, hello and welcome again to our reading of Mark's Gospel. We're up to chapter 8. And so this is the feeding of the 4,000. So, um, in Echinus Tais Hemerais, and in those days, again, and we get a little genitive absolute here, polyoklu ontos. This is from Amy, of course. There being much crowd... And we get another genitive absolute, but here with a slightly with a plural subject, we have to supply our tone here. So we're going to supply our tone. Um, them not having te what thing they might eat. So what they might eat. So not having anything to eat. This is uh, error subjunctive from STO. So there being a large crowd and them not having anything to eat. And then the subject, of course, this is, is of this is Jesus, pros keles saminos, aorist participle. Having called his the disciples, he says to them, historic present. Splank um I feel compassion. Literally, I am moved in my bowels, so uh, I feel compassion for the crowd. Because a day now. Now we get here. This is nominative. You'd expect perhaps an accusative. This is sort of a hanging nominative here, um, and it's you, it's you have to make sense of the grammar from what you see. So we have to say for for three days that it is actually a nominative. Um, they remain beside me. Trust me now. And they do not have tifagos in what thing they might eat. So they don't have anything to eat. And if Apolluso, Apolluo did dismiss, if I dismiss them, nastes is an adjective. It's third declension uh, from nastes. It's one of those third declension adjectives. It's connected with um, ne plus the estio root. So it's not being, not eating, and so therefore hungry. Can be used to fasting, in fact, but here it's just being not eating. If I dismiss them, nastes, without having eaten, so hungry, uh, to their home, to the home of them, Ek luthesontai, this is a future passive. You see the sigma there tells you it's future and the theta eta tells you it's a future passive. Ek luo, it's an old expression in Homer to loose the one's limbs, in other words, to pass out. Uh, often to loose the limbs of was to, was to kill somebody, but here it's just they will be, um, well, they will pass out. They will be loosed, they will pass out on the road. Uh, and certain of them, we would say probably for certain of them, hey Cassin, now this is a very interesting form here, it's from it's from Heiko, and Heiko is present in form but perfect in meaning. And what is done here is he's used a perfect ending even though this kappa is not from the perfect as part of the root of the verb, but it, it's been treated as though this is a this is perfect in form as well as perfect in meaning, and they've put the Cassian ending here, which is very strange. Anyway, this is what happens in later Greek. So certain of them have come, apomacrothen. Again, we've seen this expression before. It's from from afar. You don't need the apo, just the macrothen would have been sufficient. But it's obviously become a stock phrase here. And the disciple, his disciples answered him that, or saying that, hoti recitative, from whence is anyone, will anyone be able, um, cortasi, to satisfy, this aorist infinitive, to satisfy these people, in this manner, so thus, our tone, a dative would be easier here, but we get a genitive, so it's with bread, it's a, perhaps a partitive genitive, but a dative would have been more natural. 
uh, ep eremias in this desolate place. And um, he asked them from Erotao, he asked them, how many loaves do you have? And they said, Hepta, seven. And he uh, he all gave command to the crowd, Anna Pesain, to sit down. This is from Aorist Infinity from Anna Pipto, literally a fall down, but it's just to sit down. Epitas gaze upon the ground. And having taken the seven loaves, having um, given thanks, Aorist Participle, Eclasin from Clasdo, with a Zeta, he broke them. And he began to give them, this is imperfect from Didomi, to his disciples in order that they might paratithosi, um, they might hand them around and parathaken, distribute them to the crowd. Sorry, and they distributed them to the crowd. So, um, so he gave... Um, he gave them to his disciples that they might pass them around and they distributed it's the same verb paratithemi this is the present and uh, sorry this is the um, subjunctive present subjunctive and this is the uh, aorist form and they gave them to the crowd from paratithemi and he had they had iscudia oliga a few uh, ichthus is the word for fish. This is ichthudion in the singular. It's a diminutive. And I mentioned before, late Greek likes diminutives. A few small fish. And having blessed them, that is the fish, he um, he told them also, paratithenai, this is the infinitive, to distribute these things, to distribute them. Kai f again. And um, they ate, this is the aorist from Estheo, and they were satisfied, aorist passive from Hortazdo. And they took up, perisumata is abundances of broken things, clasmatone. So they took up um, the, rim, the rest of the scraps, um, they took up seven spuridas, this is accusative plural from spuris, is the word, third declension, seven baskets of, of scraps. So they took up the excess, seven baskets of scraps, uh, and there were about 4,000. And he dismissed them, Apolluo, he sent them away, and immediately, Mark's favourite word, having got into the boat, with his disciples, he went into the regions of Dalmanutha. Now, the name is only here, and its location is unknown. Matthew has a Magadan, which is the which is a variant reading here. You'll see the, the little mark two there, indicating a variant reading down below, uh, and that's also of unknown location. So it's not clear where on earth this is referring to. The disciples, sorry, the, the Pharisees came out and began to dispute, this is Sut Satio, to dispute with him, seeking from him a sign from heaven, testing him. And um, this is from Anastenasdo, and crying out, Aorist participle, in his spirit, so presumably within himself, not out loud, he says, um, why does this generation seek a sign? Truly I say to you, now we get here um, this A here, which is idiomatic. This actually is a Hebraism. It's not an Aramaism, inter interestingly. So um, he's, this is a genuine Hebraism. It's used of, the, it's translating the Hebrew word um, im, which for those who read Hebrew looks like this, um, which is just this in English. Uh, it's a Hebraism, it's a, it's a particle used in Hebrew to introduce a solemn form of negation. 
So it's, it's actually no sign. It's a little bit like our expression, I'll be damned if I do this. In other words, I'm just not going to do it. And if we forget the word, I'll be damned, and just say, if I do this, this is what's happened. This is the same sort of idiom here, I think. So no sign will be given to this generation. And having dismissed them, uh, having got on board again, he passed back, he went back, S to Perun, to the other side. So just watch this A here, this is very tricky, you need to consult, a co I had to consult a commentary on this one to see what's going on. So this A really is like a negative, acting like a strong negative, but it's not Greek, but it is good Hebrew.